हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रोथ मॉडल्स स्टूडेंट्स देयर आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रोथ मॉडल्स बिफोर डिस्कसिंग दम लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रोथ for understanding this concept we will take very common examples let's take the example of population of coronavirus and another will be population of apple tree firstly about coronavirus coronavirus initially it was infecting only animals but due to mutation it has also affected human beings we will only consider human beings in single human being when uh, when he is getting infected by this particular virus i guess there will be million and trillion of viruses of same species that is corona virus okay and how many people in world they are affected by this popul uh, by this virus they are more than 70000 so can you calculate the population of this corona virus species it is almost impossible because they have geometric kind of population growth the sources for example they uh in fact human beings human cells and in our body there are million trillion of cells okay and they in fact all cells of the body and there are so many human beings almost 8 billion people are present in this world so they will affect all the people what i mean to say is that the resources they have are unlimited this is the first condition for this type of growth geometric type of growth okay on the other hand we will take example of apple trees if in a garden uh, you are growing the apple trees for example in one canal you have planted 100 trees if somebody will come and he will say no there will there must be more apple trees in this garden and what he will do he will plant another 100 trees so is this will is this will uh, impact the population size yes it will impact there will be no increase in the population but the plants the apple trees which will be already present in the garden they will be impacted maybe some of them will die out so here we have limited resources land is limited sunlight is limited okay because in a particular space it will be limited so this type of growth is known as logistic growth it is not uh, a geometric kind of growth now i will discuss the growth models firstly we will discuss the growth model for corona virus or it is also known as exponential growth model the resources in this growth model are unlimited as already i have explained there will be certain terms that you have to remember and Uh, the models they are based on mathematical equations so it will be bit difficult um so i must suggest you you can open your ncert book uh, that is a biology for class 12 and you can open at page number 230 here it is figure uh, 13.5 and it shows the population growth curves okay you can see there are two growth curves one a another b okay and a it is uh, it is marked by red and blue blue by b okay and here you can see um, in a graph there is written as dn over dt is equal to rn 
so i will try to make understand you about these terms firstly the intrinsic rate of natural increase is called as biotic potential that is represented by letter r and increase or decrease in the population during time t what will be it it will be d n capital n okay over dt small d small t it is equal to what it and will be population size b will be birth rate d will be death rate so increase or decrease in the population at n0 n0 means when population at zero time at initial of the time it will be denoted as dn by dt is equal to b minus d into n b minus d means per birth rate per capita and d means death rate per capita into n n simply means population size the integral form of this exponential growth will be n by t or you can say and t small t is equal to n not e raised to power r t okay firstly n t it will be the population density after t time and zero population density at time zero and e it is the base of natural log rhythms and the value is 2.71828 these equations they are given in your uh, in your book of ncert at same page number you can find them that is 230 okay dn over dt capital n and small t it is always equal to rn for geometric growth okay and the graph if we plot a graph between the population density and time t okay what kind of graph we will get we will get a j shaped graph now let's discuss about the growth model for apple tree it will be logistic growth model why logistic because the natural resources they will be limited and students the natural limit for the species in that habitat is called as carrying capacity in apple garden that was of 100 canals in our example what will be the carrying capacity it will be the land or the space for sunlight okay so the growth will be limited the sum of environmental factors that limits the population size is called as environmental resistance okay environmental resistance rises with rise in population size the type of population growth in apple garden it will be represented by an equation and this equation for the first time was formulated by two scientists one is wolhurst and other was parrell so the equation is known as wolhurst parrell logistic growth and it is denoted by dn small d capital n over small d cap small t it is equal to small r capital n okay brackets start k capital k that is carrying capacity minus n okay capital n divided by n sorry divided by k okay and what is n capital n it is the population size t will be time okay and um r will be intrinsic rate of natural 
increase that already i have mentioned that r is equal to b minus d that is birth rate minus death rate now i will discuss about the graph which is for logistic growth you can also see it in your book at same page number that is 230 the graph for logistic growth will be s shaped or it is known as sigmoid curve okay initially it shows a lag phase then acceleration phase then deceleration and finally asymptomatic that means stationary that is why it is known as s shaped or sigmoid curve okay it was bit difficult but uh, you can take the help of your book and understand it very well with the help of this lecture thank you for listening to it if you have any doubt you can visit to my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com